hi there so in this video i'm going to show you how to do 2d graphics in wpf so the first thing we are going to open visual studio and then in file we are going to create new project now we are going to take a look at some of the graphics elements such as rectangle ellipse line polygon and polyline now while creating new project check for WPF application then change the name if you want then click on OK this will create one empty solution which you can run for empty WPF window now you will have your XML designer here you can find the designer at the bottom and XML code at the top. You will also have one C sharp file where you can add the code for your 2D graphics. However, for this tutorial, we are going to make all the changes within XML editor. So now you have this empty window here and there are no elements added within that window. Okay. So in your source code you will find this window and also grid tag okay now within grid tag we are going to write our first element rectangle so we type in rectangle and here I'm going to set the field for it let's say I want to use rectangle of black then set height equals to 200 then width with 250 okay and then I'm simply going to close my rectangle if you see your rectangle in the bottom it will look like this okay now we're going to run this example and check out how it shows our rectangle here And as you can see, your rectangle will look such as this in WPF window. You can resize its height and width. Also, you can change its position from center of screen to some other point. Okay, for that, we just have to make the changes in editor. Okay, let me just increase the display. Now, as you can see, it moved to the left of window and if I run this again after saving it will change its position from center of the screen to the leftmost area okay and you will also find that your XML code has the new property margin which shows 25 26 to 42 94 which is actually the position that we have just located within this designer okay so now we know how to use a rectangle let's try and add one more graphic element which is circle but for circle we call for ellipse tag okay now let me use fill of red then use our height and width height let's see within 150 and width of 150 again I want to have this ellipse okay so here we have our ellipse at the center of window let's run this and check out how it looks and you have your ellipse at the center of screen and which is over your rectangle Okay. now we check rectangle then ellipse let's take a look at line so line requires you to have starting ending point as well so we are going to have that with x1 value set to let's say 50 then y1 value which is going to be again 50 then we have x2 value which 
is going to let's say 200 and white value is going to say can 200 okay now we're going to use stroke as let's say green okay and let me just close it and you'll have your line which is drawn on the top of this rectangle let's execute and see how it looks okay so it looks something like this now we have checked a rectangle ellipse line take a look at polygon okay so polygon requires points okay so points let's say start from 100 then it start from 0 to 75 then it's on 75 to 100 then 100 to 125 and finally again back at 75 then we choose stroke let's say stroke should be with some different color this time let's say blue okay then stroke thickness and let's set it to four then feel goes for blue okay so this is our polygon and let's check it out in designer it looks something like this okay so it looks a lot like those crystal symbols okay let's run it and see how it looks and you have your polygon you have your line then rectangle and ellipse okay so finally let's take a look at how polyline works so we will add one more inside our grid polyline and it also takes points and it starts from 50 then it starts to 150 then 100 100 and then 50 to 50 and then 50 then you have stroke equals to blue and then we have stroke thickness set to 4 okay now let's see on designer you will find your polyline point something like this you can change the color here you can choose pink color so that it looks a bit different now let's run it and we have our five elements which we can use for 2d graphics so we have our rectangle ellipse line polygon and polyline okay so this was a short introduction to 2D graphics in WPF.